Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. In this episode, we're going to be heading from Hagberg over here to Lomberg up there, but we'll be taking a very long route. We're going to keep patrolling around here, even if it's just like walking towards Strandakai. There's a bunch of brigands right there, I don't really care. We're going to keep an eye on Schmeltime, really. You know, Sandfells did build its beekeeper back up, so they've got a bit of a blade of hit points right now. We found a weeping tomb. That's cool. But, you know, they're still quite vulnerable over here that they rebuilt their watchtower. It got destroyed. The other thing's also still destroyed, so yeah. Oh, they've rebuilt their watchtower. That's good. That's good. You know, better safe than sorry. Oh dear. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and put a stop to that if you don't mind. There we go. Let's uh, let's get Gunner in there. We're gonna be fighting uh, all measures of green skins, really. We should be on time to respond to that, and after that, they'll have their wooden watchtower back. Hello, horde. Many Orc Young, some gob uh, some Berserkins, and some Ambushers. We can deal with that! And keep Schmelzheim safe. Alright then. We're gonna hold our turns for now. They are gonna shoot Warham. He is wielding a fancy hammer right now. And oh my god, are you seeing Bertram right now? Look at him! His looks are amazing. No regrets. Buying the armor is definitely worth it in the end. I mean, just look at him. That looks absolutely amazing. I love it. When you say some, how many are there? That's like one, two, three, four, five. Sounds like fun. Should probably not have, like, skipped Firefan's turn, but oh well. We're here now, we're committed now. Super Sarge, right. Uh, shoot him, I guess. He doesn't have a shirt on. You can try, but we're nimble as hell. There we go, he doesn't need to be alive. Bit of a minor oversight, really. Um, we could try them, I don't think we're gonna succeed. We'll just fire into the mess that is the orcs over there. That'll do. Good people holding him off right now, as we should. We'll put some fire into him. Get fire fan up there. Ow. Could you stop that, please? That's getting a bit annoying right now. They stun fire fan again. I wish there was a penalty to the success chance for that, like depending on how much armor you have. That sort of sounds like it would be realistic, you know. Maybe make a guy that's in a. Oh, come on, really? God damn, dude. It's a bit rude. We're gonna work our way through them right now. Stack them, whack them, make sure to crack them. I don't know. Just gotta make sure he doesn't pull that crap again. I think we'll be fine. They're losing a lot of men rather quickly. Firefan's got a smashed hand. It's a bit annoying. Now oh, you're gonna take a swing at my archer. Well, you better hit then. Otherwise, I'll hit you. 
mean, that's more like it. No longer stunned, at least. Time to break his face. Speaking of breaking faces, that's a triple, baby! Oh yeah! I'm not done with you yet. Don't you worry about that, sunshine. Your turn's coming. There we go. Make them suffer. Firefine should be able to finally get some revenge going. I wonder how cathartic it'll be. Probably very, let's be honest. Well, we are not hitting those shots, are we? Oh, that's better. Really? Oh, you're getting sh Oh, come on. Really? No revenge? That wasn't a kill either. Come on. What, what's happening here? They're just not doing anything right now. Jesus. Alright, he needs to die. Now. Same for you there, sir. Getting real tired of your crap right now. Yeah, no, I don't care about him. Fight me. Little cowards. Uh, right, we'll tell our archers to hold. Because they're archers, you know. Stab him to death. Well done, Neil. Firefan is just not having a good day, is he? Honestly, I blame the fact that they stunned him and then pulled the magic like... Bit ridiculous, but well... He's still up. He's a resilient bastard, I'll give him that. There we go, just make sure they visit him. Then we get to conveniently stab his friendos. Who keep trying to make a run for it, for some reason. It's almost like they're scared. Nope, that does not work. Because it never works. Well done, son. You failed utterly at that. We're gonna try and shoot him with an accurate shot. There we go, we drop him. And we land some more shots in him. Because why not? And Bertram likes to shoot the bloody tree. Oh well. There we go. Sir Eckhart goes level up. We get a bunch of crap. Cool. Smell time is once again safe. We didn't get paid for that though. Ouch! That's a smash hand. That's minus 40% skill. We're gonna give Eckhart all the offense and defense because obviously. Right, now that we can take our attention away from there for a minute. We're gonna go back to Felsfest, see if they've got anything new to sell. Probably not, but if they have a temple, I would be delighted to go and visit it. They do not. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I'd say so, yeah. Well, we're gonna sell some stuff anyway. I don't care if it's, like, properly uh, repaired or not. We already figured out they were useless. Shields, notched blades. They can all go. And we're down a lot of food as well. So we're going to have to restock on that quickly. Uh, I think that'll do for now. Yep, let's go. Well, I mean, we can quickly check the... Uh... Yeah. I don't love you that much, Balon, I'm sorry. You're a good man! Well, you know. Maybe a bit too far? We got a bunch of Nuxairs there, we got Orc Marauders right there. I think we need to fight them. 
We're gonna have to switch out fire plant temporarily. Just because I don't want to let Orc Marauders keep going around. That sounds like a very bad thing in this war. Alright, there we are. It's gonna be a bit of a tough fight. We are lacking a fire fan, but we've got Sir Eckhart. Warum is gonna be trying out his hammer this time. So, you know, that's gonna be good. Looks like we've got like six warriors to deal with. Yeah, that stinks. That's quite a lot of them, in fact. Oh, there's the Berserker. All right. We need to deal with him quickly and decisively. We're going to let the rest of them charge, and then we'll do a counter charge to halt their momentum a little bit. So, you know, they would love to stun us a lot. And we'll try to, like, catch them with terrain and whatnot. Down here is going to be a very busy alley. We'll deliver all our arrows down the middle. Dear lord, man, that shield of yours is putting out work. It caught, like, three arrows. How? You stupid bastard. Alright, Walram, get in there. That's probably the safest bet for you to be. Let's not stay on the low ground if we can. Besides, effective charges here, please. Right. This turn, we're going to try and finish off one of them. We only get one of them. That's good enough. It's a start. That'll help us break their center. That really sucks. That also sucks. God damn it, guys. What is it with you and lack of accuracy today? It seems to be a common theme for now. Let's cut them down and steal our resolve. Let's keep working him over as well. Focus fire. Kill him quickly. Focus on the Berserker this turn, guys. He needs to die. He's out of range for you. Oh, that sucks. That just got remedied, though. Slightly. Ah, come on, Warham! Get your stuff together! Useless. Bloody useless. Get it together, guys. Come on. I don't like this one single bit. Bertram gets the kill. Very nice. That routes two of them. Including a warrior. And we get to whack him down. That's really important. That put a really good spin on this fight. That seemed to be going okay until then. That was really important, basically. I tell you to hold. I'm not sure why. Can't really. Yeah, that sucks. Oh god damn it! Twenty bleed damage. Oh, that's really bad. We need to kill him quickly and then bandage Walrum as soon as we can. Starting to get fatigued over there. We need to make him flee. Bandage Walrum so he lives. We are managing, but these guys are rough. And they are roughing us up quite a fair bit. I'd love to say otherwise, but, you know. We're still working on that. Right, you, Neil. Get over there. Definitely try to kill him quickly. We do not get to kill him quickly, that sucks. 
I'm gonna keep Warren in reserve for now. We don't need need him. Would just be nice to have him. We're all gonna shift focus on him now. We don't get to kill that one this turn, that's really bad. And he charges, which does take his high ground advantage away at least. That's gunner double bleeding, that's also pretty bad. You know, we are working on it. Ever so slowly. Just keep whacking him. Eckhart, remove his armor. Walram does the same up here. Oh, that is super good. Gunnar is bleeding heavily. He needs a med kit, really. Or at least a uh, first aid. Alright, Hubert! Let's not finish him. Look at Gunnar triple bleeding. Jesus Christ. They really want his head. Gottfried steals the kill! Very nice. Congratulations, everyone. That could have gone really bad. Stupid bloody orcs. Alright, switch you out. You've lost a lot of hit points. You're okay. You're not, really. We'll switch out James as well, temporarily. Right. Eight Goblin Wolf Raiders. Can we take those? Yeah, we probably can. Second line's a bit injured, but that shouldn't make a difference. First line should be able to devastate them. Yeah, we'll take some Wolf Riders. It's for the war effort, after all. Alright, hold your turns, everyone. Let them charge. They're likely to kill themselves by means of Eckhart's or whatever, you know. They'll do something useful to help us. I want to shoot the far ones, so that's a lot harder for them to get close. Meanwhile, we'll murder the closed ones. Because we're nice. You know. He's already gone. We're very kind people, but not to wolf riders. I mean, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of that. Get him, Super Sarge! Oh yeah! Well done, sir! You disengaged and re-engaged and wasted all of your stuff. It didn't even matter in the end. I'm gonna tell you to hold. BBS! Gets to shoot him. Well done. We can easily dispatch with this little problem. Wouldn't even call it a problem. There we go. Nice little double whack right there. We'll get some people over here to help, like, protect against that. We're gonna chase that guy down. Because we're not gonna it. We're not gonna let him get away. Roderick gets a lovely kill there. Hubert flattens him a little bit. We'll put an... Aimed arrow into him? Or not. You know, I could just be talking out of my butt here. Last guy is probably gonna run for it, let's be honest. They would be coward. Yeah, he's, he's legging it. Otherwise, he'd be here already. I don't blame him. We kind of murdered all his friends immediately. It's over. Get out of here. Scram. Fly, you fool. Fly. Those used to be the more dangerous opponents. You know, we used to be afraid of them. Roderick! My good man! Some more melee offense and defense, please. We'll switch in Ike for a chance to shine. Looks like there's a lot more footsteps around. 
Many or young. Sure, we'll help a caravan. We probably won't actually make it to our actual battle this episode with all this crap going on. You know, why not fight all the things? These are only Org Young, they're weak. I can eat them for breakfast. Hello! Right here! Hello! We want attention too! All of it you can spare. I wonder if this actually counts as like coming to their aid. I hope it does. Even if it doesn't. Eh, we get the moral justification of feeling good. And we get to weaken the orcs a little bit more. Which are all good things. Oh, that's a tree. That's a field. That's also the same field. Can we stop shooting the field and start killing some of the orcs? That caravan isn't going to hold on for too long. I might be mistaken on that. Huh. Who knew? Stop shooting the darn tree! What's it ever done to you? That's treason! There we go, good pun! It only took a second for me to, uh, to realize what the opportunity there was. Right, Eckhart. Work him over. We distracted like half their force, so you know, that's not a mean feat. We'll keep the other half going to reinforce the, uh, the now kind of troubled people over there. Super Sarge, let's provide some direct fire assistance. There you go, I hope you enjoy the fact that we made that very easy for you. You know, provide credit. Or we can shoot you in the back instead. Oh yeah, they're taking casualties as well. Ow. You know, I tried to warn him. Try to come to the help even. They're just getting murdered. Like it's some sort of Olympic sport. Right then, let's get the actual fighters in contact with them. Because you know, they need to the help. Oh, take the risk. It did not pay off! Hang in there, brothers! I will not let all of you perish. Maybe like 90% of you, but not all of you. Cling to those inspirational words in this time of darkness. And peril. As we employ our face sniping tactics right here. Look at that. Oh, you... you bastards. They're taking a bit too much advantage of this. They are very lucky to have me here, or they would all be dead. There we go, flatten a couple of people. You kill stealing pricks! I'm glad I friendly fired you. This is getting ridiculous right now. There we go. I might let you lose a couple more men now, because you're starting to be really annoying. You're supposed to be my damsels in distress, and instead, you're kill stealing, causing me distress. There you go. Eat an arrow to the side. They actually bloody stunned the orc as well. Oh well, it's the thought that counts. The thought is treachery, treason. No gratitude for my assistance. Frankly. Huh, you knock him back. Well done. 
I'm running him down. He's dying. Damn it, guys. And on the shield. Those kill stealing pricks. They were stealing literally everything right in front of me. Like, yeah, no, pew, pew, pew. Screw you, screw you. Oh well. Guess we got to play hero for a bit. They can all sod off, honestly. More goblin raiders? Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go now. Is, if that's all right, you know. I don't have to, but I wanted to. But now I see how many there are. I kind of don't. That's the whole problem with this war to begin with. That's why we're losing it. There's just too many of them. We'll sell some things though. That ought to get us some money. Since nobody seems to be willing to pay us to kill random groups of orcs. Weapons with? Nothing. Still overcharging for all the weapons as usual. We'll pick up some tools though. And we'll keep moving. I wanna go to Norberg and then maybe Varda. No. Uh. Gerhard enters your tent with hat in hand. That's a big hat to have in your hand. The rim of it turns round and round in his fingers as though he were. Pl oh god, you want. You want me to. The general gist of it. The witch has cursed the man to be incapable of some sexual exports. Nope. Come on, man. We've had this already. You've survived that. You are very upset. Felt let down. Yeah. I felt let down by you. See how that feels. We'll temporarily put Giesel hair in. Man. Norberg, I can't visit your temple. Fair enough. We'll just keep going. Vardegard's had everything destroyed right now, so, you know, I need to go and check on that. As a responsible parent, I mean, we are a mercenary company, not a parent company. Ooh! Battle-hardened male shirt. 123 for minus 10. You know what? Sure. It's only 4k. Thanks, Onheim. I know you love me. I love you too. So that's uh, slightly worse armor for you. It's a lot more fatigue for you, so I'm probably not going to give it to you. Even though it's not great. I could give it to BVS to get him some fatigue back. I might keep it as an entry level thing. I don't know. Eh, in retrospect it is pretty bad. I mean, it's like a male shirt with four extra fatigue. I'll give it to Erland, so he too can look shady as all hell. Enjoy! Since, you know, he's not really a priority trooper, I guess. Let's quickly check on Vardegard, I want to be sure. You know, everything's destroyed over here, that has to have a reason. Let's also quickly check on Schmeltzheim. They're burning that watchtower, so we've got to be uh, sort of quick about this. We'll say hi. Yeah, uh, uh. See? They were about to burn it. <sighs> These guys just don't understand that I want to keep things standing upright. That's 12 of them. A, a few Orc Berserkers, some Orc Young, and some Archers. We can deal with that. Hello. Hold our turns. Let them come closer, comrades. Ah, hello. I'm gonna smash you with a bloody big hammer. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Come on. I know they're small goblins, but really... a lot of orcs. 
Good. That's one less. <laughs> and we're charging, naturally. We're going to try and cut down to ones with nets. There we go. That's one less. That guy is pooping himself. Absolutely. We'll get Roderick around over there on the flank. Because why not? That seems like a good idea. Right, um, sorry about that. I had to quickly go and type something. We'll keep pouring out the fire. I thought there were ambushers, not skirmishers, but you know, I'm not complaining. Keep pouring the fire in the boys. We have one net, but that is it. Man, you missed him. You missed Roderick in the net. How do you pull that off? You must be an orc who always wanted to be a piano player or whatever. Oh, come on. The only one able to resist is Eckhart because he literally has a trinket for it. I feel there should be a way to somewhat mitigate it a bit more than just, oh yeah, get a random trophy. That's luck based and ambition based. You need to actually have a good company to get it. But you know, game design aside, let's kill some orcs. We should really be recognized in a role for just actually saving this bloody town. But for some weird reason, the game never seems to do anything like that. And oh my god, did you see that turn? We absolutely, positively murdered everything. And then humiliated that that we didn't kill. Holy crap. We killed like half of them. Or like three quarters in one turn. It's only turn four and they're already dead and dying. Man, our archers are having a bad day today. It's alright, we've got people in melee. There we go. Magnus gets a level up! We get some more things. I'm thinking we might have to use these nets soon. Anyway, that is Vardigard. Yeah, they really don't, like, give you anything. If you just happen to save a town, except for like, oh yeah, you can still use it to buy things. I'll buy some ammo because it's pretty cheap. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here in between trying to save all the things. It's uh, a heck of a job, really. Schmelzheim has his watchtower again, or at least it didn't get burnt down, so that's good. Vardigard's in a spot of trouble. Still need to head over to Lomberg, but you know, we'll get there while we're winning this invasion. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video... Don't forget to let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Because we'll keep going until we've done all three endgame crises. Until next time, have a good one folks.